in a skin cancer epidemic. And that means that there's going to be a lot more biopsies. And as a result, I think that you're going to have to be ready to meet those challenges. The growth rate of people in the country, people living longer, uh, having cancer, a lot of diseases of that nature. So there's going to be a need for more pathology services as we uh, our population ages over the next, say, decade or so. Digital pathology is, uh, is a way to drive efficiencies in the laboratory, efficiencies in patient care, uh, efficiencies in workflow. The digital pathology laboratory also is a, is a, is a segue to the advent or the incorporation of artificial intelligence. ProSHA has, is, is taken a very, um, a very forward look at, at the future in, in skin pathology and, and digital pathology. And the artificial intelligence side, the ProSHA efforts are, are very impressive. What I see is a library of algorithms of the most common dermatologic lesions and conditions that could be used in a workflow to triage, to QC, and to ultimately make a diagnosis. But again, emphasizing that the pathologist will always be there to assure the accuracy of that diagnosis. The ability of the algorithms to select out uh, for those buckets can become significant in terms of managing a sign out during a day. Um, difficult cases, usually the pigmented ones. To, to have that group um, put aside is, is valuable. So it's sort of like an operations management. If you can cut steps, decrease bottlenecks, you increase the efficiency. That's something that we're constantly looking for. Maybe there's information that we don't even know we don't know that the machine could possibly pick up for us. And that's something to me that's very exciting. Because maybe then you say, these people are gonna respond to this treatment or something along those lines. So with terms of patient outcome, I think you, 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 you may have diagnoses that are delivered more expeditiously. So turnaround time, um, I see, could be improved. The discordance that you come up with in terms of pigmented lesions could potentially be eliminated or at least reduced with the use of machine learning techniques. I'm excited about what can be done at the the algorithmic level uh, for diagnoses. I think Derm AI is, uh, is, is moving forward and will be something that laboratories will want. I think you have the potential to markedly reduce costs in the future.